globally, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull the drop tops out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, I GDM in, yeah. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone I'm sure of. Young enough. Hi guys, this is your gentle reminder not to get married to a medical doctor like Today is Sunday. I'm starting a new vlog today. Hi, my name is Jennifer Jennifer Okuro. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Sunday. I was supposed to go out with the girls We're supposed to go for swimming and then lunch getting ready to go for swimming my husband who is a medical doctor they called him that there's an emergency and there's a patient he has to see blah 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 and he had to leave us to see the patient i think he's back now i just want to run to a bit see baby elena is over there sleeping the girls are ready ready i don't know why this madam is very cardigan this hot weather eh? it's hot eh, ma'am we're ready to go swimming for more than two hours but Unfortunately, your daddy had to go see who? A patient, but I guess he's here now. So we're going to swim and then have lunch, right? What is this one doing with her eyes and her hand? Eh? But this is your gentle reminder not to get married to a medical doctor because see, they will fall your hand. When you've planned and you made plans and everything, something may come up. A patient may come up and as a human being and as a good person that you are as a human being you just have to go see the patient because life really matters and you just have to do their job but he's here let's go and have fun this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing those shorts and this my peach um my bikini is inside can you stop touching my breast and see madam breast i'm wearing my bikini inside those shorts and this my white dad. shirt the kids who are wearing their study. bikini and uh, with so shorts and all that yeah that. what that. what who is going to swim your dad is asking a question me. Me. after keeping us for how many hours babe so let's go and have an amazing time together no, the first to go we... yeah i'll talk to you guys in the house bye bye afternoon today is tuesday <sighs> and i came for my <coughs> swimming class today you guys saw from my last video i started a new swim swimming school i started a new swimming academy shall we they teach swimming professionally 
I've been here two times, which was last week, um, Wednesday, Thursday. I could not make it on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and on Monday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that's four days. Today, I went inside the pool, but I was doing rubbish. See, water entered into my nose. I drank water like two times. The water is cold. The water is cold. Everywhere is cold. I was just agitated, tired. I could not do anything. There was no energy. No energy at all. So I just came out from the pool. I was like, see, I'm not doing it again. It's not by force to learn how to swim. I know I said this year I want to learn how to swim, but it is not by force. So I just had to say, say, I'll try to them now. I can't concentrate today. Um, I'll come back tomorrow because when the body is not willing, the soul is not willing. You do rubbish. I know you have to push, push, push. But sometimes you just have to respect your body, know your body, and just rest. See, what is in my mind now? I bought salad yesterday. What is in my mind now? I want to go eat that salad and rest. Watch something on Netflix and rest. See, I'm not doing anything. See, mm -mm. Mm, I just told them, please, I cannot. It's not by force. I carried my two legs that I want to learn how to swim. I was just enjoying water coming out, drinking water. See, I just I was like mm, I'm tired I'm tired yeah so tomorrow would continue because last week I was doing amazing for day two I was gliding very well and I was like using my legs and all that day three I think I've forgotten my training I'll just go back watch some YouTube videos on swimming and just come back tomorrow with a mind that see I want to learn how to swim because last week I was so energized I was so hyped that see I want to learn how to swim by force but today energy we yeah that's it I wanted to update you guys let's go home my little at home let's go home eat and rest okay yeah talk to you guys later If I could, I make me feel less. Something in my brain causes stress. So come on, make me feel different. You wanna hold, don't hold back. No, oh, your little drama's got me mad. And I. Hi guys, good morning. It's a Sibizolin. When I'm in the car, I'm talking to you guys in this vlog. Hi, I've not really vlogged. Today is what? Today is Thursday and I came for my swimming class. After the last time I spoke to you guys, I came in yesterday. Yesterday was better. At least I did some moves and all that. Today is day four, like day four of my swimming class. And let's see if I do better, shall I? I pray I do better. I'll take you guys along and show you my progress okay yeah but i have a lot today after swimming class i want to go get some outfits from there's this brand i've worked with on instagram i want to go get they sell like very beautiful models rich auntie outfits i really love their style of clothes i want to go get some outfits from them yeah i'll take you guys along when i'm going just to show you guys the space and all that yeah i hope you're good champ let's go for our swimming class and later on go shopping but i love this routine i'm having in the morning at least in the morning most times i'm out of my house because i'm coming to swim i think when i'm done with my swimming class i would look for one activity i would be doing in the morning that would help me improve my skill or my knowledge just to do something leave the house basically i'm really really loving it here yeah. so let's go learn some swimming okay yeah hi guys i am back from swimming class i forgot to video record anything but your girl is making progress yeah 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 i think i'll leave some clip here like some clip not for youtube i'll leave some clip of my progress so far but your girl is making amazing amazing progress hopefully by next week i should be better and i should be able to swim on my own but i'm heading out now to the store i told you guys about yeah i'm just wearing this gown this is my first time wearing this gown i walked to this brand and this is my first time wearing this gown and i love it and i'm using this fringe see there's a story to this hair well i just feel it's okay it's simple it's something different but i love it here yeah. so let's go to the store shop and come back okay yeah 
talk to you guys later and i don't need to tell you facts you know i always want you back what's up good evening today is saturday and i'm currently editing this video i'm supposed to go up tomorrow hopefully i know guys i know i know i have not been consistent here on youtube even on instagram i've not posted this week i have not been consistent and i really miss you guys i really miss creating amazing content I miss um, editing, I miss like picking out my camera or my phone just to vlog and put amazing content. I really miss you guys here on YouTube. Thanks to everyone that have reached out to me saying hope I'm okay, um, miss your content and all that. I really appreciate and I don't take it for granted at all. It has just been a few weeks of ups and downs. I've not just been in the mood of creating content. I've been in that space where I don't have the, the drive to pick up my camera and create content and all that. Something happened um, a few weeks ago. And I've just come to realize that that 
um, experience I had really had an impact in my life and in my in all my in my life and the way I see things and all that and I just had to withdraw myself I just had to focus more on my family and just be in that space where I want to spend more time with my family and not pick up the camera or my phone to create content here yeah. I don't know if I want to say this on social media or I, I don't I don't just know I don't I don't know this is nothing I've ever spoken about apart from close friends and families that know about it but yeah we lost a baby yeah i've said it i had a miscarriage few weeks ago and i've just realized that that's that whole process that whole loss has really affected me and i never knew i needed time to heal from that like finding out um i was pregnant and we we're expecting baby number four this year i was super excited this was nothing we planned for but i was super excited we were all excited because i knew i wanted a baby this year i wanted to be done with childbirth this year it was in my plans and agenda but god had another plan for us yeah so it got to me like when i found out i was pregnant we were like oh, okay it's happening and all that yeah we we're okay because we knew we wanted to try for baby number four this year that was like our plan and all that and it was going smoothly it was going okay um i had morning sickness which was not severe compared to my other pregnancies and all that but i was still trying to create content and all that and it was going okay everybody was okay i was counting the days the months and all of a sudden it just happened boom i started bleeding and all that and going to the hospital running scan and all that they saw like it was a miscarriage so at that moment it did not really yeah i was like what is happening like i was like i was in that space of shock but i never knew it would affect me the way it affected my whole creativity um space and all that like i never knew i when it happened i was still moving on i had some jobs to do i was still doing the jobs but after then i became very sad i became withdrawn from creating content but above all we just give glory to god because i believe everything happens for a reason it's better um yeah i just believe everything happens for a reason so god has his plan for my life yeah like i don't like i don't know what happened what caused it but i just believe it's for a reason yeah it's better that way like when i had that miscarriage i later found out that one certain influencer on instagram like her tummy was big she knew the sex of the child and all that and all, all of a sudden they lost they lost to the child and i was like oh my god i can't like i can't imagine how she would be feeling because in my own case it was still forming my tummy was not big i've not gotten anything and you imagine getting that your pregnancy is big passing through first first trimester second trimester buying things and all that like it's so it's so heartbreaking yeah 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 so i i felt i i just needed space to just calm down chill just relax um stay more spend more time with my family and just focus on my life and just be happy basically but hopefully i'm much better now that i'm talking about it i'm much better hopefully i would go back to that creative space and all that but if you've experienced something like that like this how did you guys yeah i know everybody have their faces of grief mourning passing through um something or another but let me know how you managed um this scenario but i think i'm okay i'm fine yeah sometimes i just wish i'm like oh imagine i was pregnant i'll be so so much imagine this so it's just something that happened and i honestly wanted to give birth to my last child this year but god had his own plan for me so now i'm just taking things one step at a time trying to just live life and be happy yeah that's the whole update but i'm fine i'm okay i'm okay now thankfully i'm just grateful to god for being alive and i know he has a plan and a purpose for my life to give me a better end yeah that's my that's my prayer
currently and i've been having nanny issues and all that i had nanny issues <laughs> recently like see everything has just been <clears throat> upside down so i've not been in that mental space where i want to create but hopefully this week i should be ready to create amazing content for you guys yeah if you guys i want to do like a sit down video talking about my nanny experience here on youtube if it's what you would love to see let me know i will film that because see i have had seven nannies with different experience and it's just see at this stage of my life now i am just in that space where i see anything you want to do i'm okay you cannot do anything that will shock me again with all these people so if you want to hear a story time telling you guys about my experience let me know down in the comment section but yeah that's the live update hopefully we should be back to creating amazing beautiful content very soon hope you're enjoying watching this video i know it's not my regular video and i spoke a lot in this video yeah 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 but that's it thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the love you've shown to me thank you thank you thank you thank you i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys take care of yourself happy sunday or happy week whenever you're watching. Bye.